And here we go. Root against Cruiser. So previously when Mako was playing uh, Cruiser. <laughs> he kind of he got wrecked, I'm not going to lie. He put, up, he put up a really good fight. But Mako is just way too good for him. Way, way too good for him. So up next will be Roots, who actually placed uh, 13th actually in the QM4 RE2 last month. But uh, because Jaxi actually, he actually, uh, <laughs> he actually denied to play. He actually denied to play. So we want to see the bracket. Uh, I'll show it to you after this game, dude. So JIC denied to play because he didn't have time to. Working family man, obviously. So the next in line was Roots, and Roots always is always up for the challenge. The competition is fierce. The competition is very, very fierce, but he can try his best here. So Roots as the red player is gonna start on top left. Gonna similar go for a similar build to Marco actually. The cruiser is down on bottom right as well. Uh, yep. Uh, what? Uh, wrap the text. Sorry, this. So, Cruiser similar build. Good drone there. Rude just sort of lacking of the drone control. And Cruiser. Whoa! Oof. That's why you don't uh, target so close. You need to target far away with your drone because for some reason in this game, whenever you target something, it always, always, always uh, slows down and then targets. So Root's uh, going for the second drone here. And then Cruiser already with two rhinos on the field. Three now after long distance mining the gem patch along the top. So Root going for the second war factory. Thankfully he's not so big this time. <laughs> Uh, I think yesterday when we were playing for Latov and Luke, he uh, was a little bit baked to play. So we'll see here. There you go. There he baits out the baits out the sentry gun, and then Cruiser just chasing along there with the miner. Oh, the miner got a hit off. So now it's on one hit, and then the drone is slowing down as well. So the one thing that's doing is actually forcing the miner off on mining time. So it's actually pretty good for him. Oh, and he finally fixes it. Now Cruiser coming in with the push along the top here. And while Root is going to run towards safety with his MCV, he's going to move anyway. So no dogfighter for both of them. So they're going to go straight in immediately afterwards. And it's a little bit tight to see who will win here, but the fodder coming out for Root. And the uh, lack. Oh my dear. And the reinforcement is actually proving to be really, really helpful for Root there. Cruiser just getting back to off immediately afterwards with that first push. So two wars now for Cruiser. Root moving his MCV and then popping out that uh, refinery for the gem patch. So around three, four, five, six miners now for Roots and Cruiser's and six as well. Seven's coming out now, so. Going for a miner after a bunch of rhinos being spammed out. Thank you, this. Now it comes to third war. So this is a definitely, definitely a lot more even matchup here. Not so much of a steam roll. Or an attempt at it. So another again, even Roots making a miner afterwards. <clears throat> What I, what I think uh, is happening here, Root is actually observing Cruiser and seeing how many miners he has and then comparing. Just so he can be on par and keep up with the miners here, Cruiser is going to attempt to move along the top, but... Let's see where this goes. The top split immediately comes towards the middle here. Cruiser is going to go for that miner, but the sentry gun is out. Now Cruiser, ah, he needs to be a little bit more cautious here. After being so cautious playing against Marco, he's a little bit too not cautious and a little bit too careless here with his tank control. Obviously going in with in a straight line there, just not grouping up together. Now Root can push. 
and make a counter push after uh, losing that split there, Cruiser. So immediately two miners in trouble. Cruiser's gonna pull that miner back. Split coming in here for a route as well down to his mid. It's gonna move some TV as well. A little bit late there, but let's see whether the route can have get any damage out here. He needs to focus far on the rhinos there. It's gonna back on immediately after. So this is what I'm talking about there. Root is being cautious and not carelessly going in. Back when uh, Cruiser was pushing it, he was really, really careless in that tank control. And Root is just on the bay of it. Cautious, scared. I think cautious is a better word. So four rhinos split along the top there, Cruiser. He's out tank hard, man. Really, really hard. One, two, three, four, five war factories now for Root. And he's gonna engage along the top as well. Cruiser, no tank control up there as well, but he does win it on tank numbers. It's gonna bring uh, Cruiser on a wild goose chase here to take its micro away. And the three way split here coming in for Root. Even two rhinos coming in from the bottom now. He can do that absolutely because he is higher up on the rhino count. So Cruiser now forced to use up a lot more of his micro here. And the death is not coming in for Roots as well. That's going to be deadly. I think that's why he didn't go for much dog fodder. And out goes all the doggos. Ooh, down goes all the doggos there. Very, very well timed. The death so indeed. And the corners as well to counter erect the death is coming in. Cruiser now getting a couple of sentry guns to hide behind them for the rhinos. Cruiser needs to get the back end of his rhinos into the fight here if he doesn't want to lose this engagement on the low tank now. But the drones have been spammed out here. The tank control from Root is pretty good. Cruiser is keeping up with him, but the rhino numbers for Root here seems to be a little bit too much for him. And now Cruiser is opting for the base trade. He immediately ignores it. Root is going to chase after him around the back. Middle uh, miner goes down and Root is gonna split off as well to get a couple miners out of the way while Roots or oh, while Cruiser goes in for the base trade and Cruiser immediately calling it quits. And down he goes 1-0 to Root. Alright, back again. This time on the uh, QM spots. So the new updated LE version of Snow Valley. To be <clears throat> perfectly honest with you, I'm not too sure on the changes here. On the recent update of Snow Valley, but Apparently it's been updated to the LE version, so we'll see how that goes. And something we don't see every day is definitely an AVA on it. I think uh, this is a change for sure. Can place a ref down here now. It's a little bit bigger. Original is my least favorite I've ever do it. I I hate Snow Valley. I'm gonna be honest, I really dislike Snow Valley. Probably because I'm not good enough to understand the map to play it. So AVA on Snow Valley, Root is one of those players that can actually play both actions pretty well. I've seen uh, I've seen Ed, actually a pretty good allied player, struggle against Root's allied. So see how Cruiser goes. Cruiser is one of those uh, one of those players that's really not known in the community. Like people know who he is, but he's not very active in in chats and everything. So people often either disregard him or underrate him. But so far, it's getting batted. Hasn't won a game yet, so we'll see how that thing goes. Mm, looks like Cruz is gonna build down the cliff. And Ru putting his AFC all the way down top left. So we will see a couple of IVs coming out here. <clears throat> it's pretty meta for an AVA. Ah, oh, the mid has changed, I see. And the side gems has changed as well. So that's a pretty big difference right there. So you can now deploy MCV down here and get these gems on the sides. And then there's no more pesky uh, cliffs to navigate around in mid as well. So Root already moving towards middle cruiser as well. And obviously Chrono Miners, you can't really chrono them afterwards. 
straight to the other pad. So we got five minus now for roots. Cruiser with two and five as well. It's gonna build on the cliff, I think, afterwards. But we we are we are already seeing a couple of uh, rocketeers here, half of both players and IVs and rhinos immediately committing. I think original Snow Valley was a bad map, yeah. But this updated version should be a much better version now. Not as a lot bigger. There's more space for tank control, and it's a lot less glitchier in general. And immediately, crews are solidifying their mid position with the power drops here. This is this signifies a good ally player right here, using the power drops offensively and defensively at the same time. So if this if you actually move this power this power drop a lot closer. I think that'll be a lot more beneficial for him. That's gonna deny Root from going to his mid. Uh, in the old Snow Valley, it would definitely work a lot better. But in the new Snow Valley, since it's so huge, it's not that big of a deal. And now he comes Root down to his mid here. He's gonna use the rocket to take care of the pair drop. And immediately getting his own pair drop deployed as well, just to avoid Root from going anywhere. Uh, sorry, to prevent Cruiser from going anywhere there. That's it was sub Doofus. That goes to the resub. Ooh, and here he comes. Uh, Roots. He's gonna go for. He already scouted the bottom left, so he knows that Cruz already moved to his bottom left. But it comes the Rockets as well here. It's a little bit hard. Roots, be careful. He is out tanked here. He's hoping for the Rockets to do some kind of work. Ball, he moves his MC towards middle. But he's gonna lose that fight anyway. He needs. Just needs some reinforcements here. The IVs are helping out as well. Three Grizzlies remaining, and a couple of Rocketeers. Gets the pillbox out. So big, sir. And here's the beauty of the new in Snow Valley. Now you can immediately cruise sending a couple of IVs to the left hand side. And Wood hasn't expanded to the right yet. I think he uh, sold his MCV there. While well, Cruiser's already expanded to the left side. Oh no, his MCV is right here. What am I talking about? <laughs> so Rocket is on the left here for Cruiser. Root's still going at it, trying to defend. He's getting split three ways here. Rhinos, uh, IVs, and Rocketeers are going on top left. He needs to send his IVs down on the top left immediately now. But there's only one or two IVs available. One Warfare is going to go down. Cruz is going to lose all of his Rocketeers if he's not careful with the micro here. And following up with the Grizzlies on the left hand side as well. Root getting this opportunity to move towards mid and send his Grizzlies towards the middle. Good micro out of Cruiser there to send the uh, Corona Miner back to the refinery. And the lack of tank control is a little bit iffy, and it's gonna be met with a lot of rocketeers here. Roots, it's gonna lose all of his grizzlies down on bottom left, and it's gonna move his power drop as well to onto its mid. And that was a big push for Roots, and it does not play out there. Definitely does not play out. He lost all of his grizzlies and, uh, and his rocketeers as well. So Ivy is now gonna chase the rockets on in mid while he actually moves in with his power drop down bottom right. Two Grizzlies now on the bottom left is gonna harass that miner. Then Root finally gonna move to his top right now. Yo, he did plant a war factory down in mid, so that's gonna help with getting anything close to his battlefield, but he sells it anyway. He needs to watch that miner down in mid. I think he might get a full miner there and then back off. A lot of grizzlies there for Cruiser. I'm not sure if Root can take that fight, especially with the Rocketeers now. And top left pair drop as well. He does have a good number of IVs though, but the MCV is completely unguarded here. He's gonna have to sell it, but Root calls GG anyway. And there we go. Cruiser getting his first point on the board. Alright. So Stormy Weather got vetoed. So now Cruz is gonna sorry, Root is gonna opt for Path More Traveled. Then after this will be a Wood and Marco game. So that's pretty spicy. I say so the least. Hold on, give me two minutes, here, chat.
All right. Um, <clears throat> I bet you're just bad at the game. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, some maps are pretty terrible, but I think uh, the point of it is to learn the maps, right? If you want to be a good player, you need to you need to learn the maps and be adaptive. I agree with you. Some maps are completely trash, but uh, the maps that are overtly trash, they are definitely definitely removed. But the previous Snow Valley LE is a lot. Uh, it's a much better uh, iteration here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, yikes, Roots. That's a big yikes for me, Roots. Alright, Cruiser starting on the left here. Roots starting on the right hand side. So, first War Factory for Cruiser goes towards mid. Roots is gonna opt for the War Factory near the refinery down on top right. I think uh, uh, the, the War Factory in mid is probably a better spot to go here. You do have time to <clears throat> send the Miner down to the top right or bottom left, which is no issue at all. But uh, Root is going to counteract that by having a second War Factory immediately on the mid section here. So he will be able to fight for it and not let Cruiser have all the fun in mid. Paradrop coming in by the mid as well, you know, Cruiser saw, we saw that Cruiser actually got that Paradrop a little bit later. Ooh, and a quick radar immediately afterwards. So I'm expecting a forward ref here from Cruiser to get a death so He needs to get that uh, sentry out before he can get a death so out for Cruiser. There you go, death so comes out anyway. But one dog that actually got all of the, uh, all of the corners in the middle. Kevin's has always been always been a staple map. Ever since the new early versions came out, they fixed the bottom right spot, so it's not so shit anymore. So Cruiser immediately coming up the Death Down in mid. Sentry gun does take care of one death, so two deaths being taken care of by the sentry gun, and Root is gonna push Cruiser all the way back here. But Cruiser Cruiser needs to be sorry, Root needs to be careful here. He doesn't want to overcommit. He does have three war factories though, with a couple of dogs just take care of the power drop on the right hand side. You need to stop waypointing your tanks here, Roots. Another paradrop coming in towards mid. Cruiser's eco is not looking great there. Definitely not looking good. One, two, three miners now. He's on three miners. Root is on four. So that's where the struggle is coming in here. And look at this base trade we're going for immediately. Root is going to go straight for the MCV and the War Factory. Cruiser is going to go for... The miners straight away. So in a betray situation, it doesn't look good for Cruiser here. Root has to go for that final war factory to avoid any kind of drones. Root losing one miner there. He also needs to micro his mine, his drones. Last war factory for Root does go down, and Cruiser now on the way back tracking and gonna get a miner out beforehand. And all production buildings has been seized here from. Cruiser, he does not have any units left, so the drone should be able to take care of the final rhinos here. Never mind. Ooh, Root just having luckily having the drones there, but he does have an MCV to rebuild the war factory. Meanwhile, Cruiser does not have anything, so he posts in all of his units here down in mid. This is where the drones will be super useful and Root rebuilding his war factory there. He needs to get his miner working now. His eco is not looking great. Or sell that war factory on one uh, one war on one miner. So the drones here will be used as bait to get all the miners in. And all three of them does get droned. And Cruiser with one rhino remaining. It is on veterancy, so uh, he needs to be careful not to give it elite here, Roots. And Roots now, his eco not doing good. Cruiser on 9k now all of a sudden. After selling now root cells his war factory. This prevented from getting uh getting hit there. So that rhino on one HP, Root should be able to chase it down and down it goes, and that should be GG for Cruiser. That elite rhino was his only only choice there, but it did not work out, so that's two one to root. Tech building captured. Alright, let's go. Montana DMZ, the final match point here. Not a final match point, but a match point in general. We're just gonna go Iraq and Cruiser going America. 
What's up, Josh? So we are gonna see a if yes for the first time here. I think back when Cruiser went for America, it was against Marco earlier on. But he does have a significantly better chance to win against Root as ally than Marco. No offense to Root, he's a great player, but he's no Marco, even though he is also Finnish. As in finish the race, Finland, not finish as in finished, finished. But we'll see how this goes, we'll see how this goes. So stop right this cruiser is gonna start and immediately grab that power drop. I think it's first barrage, I think it goes, oh it's pre-capped, right? It is pre-capped, keep forgetting that it is pre-capped. Ugh, I know it's getting stuffier by the minute. So Cruiser immediately gonna go zero here with the power drop ready. And looks like Root goes zero as well. Interesting, so both players immediately going zero. Cruiser does no uh, Root does not want to approach that. Uh the power drop there, don't deploy GI as well, absolutely melt through the conscripts. So immediately going zero here, Root. Can he make a difference with this zero? And the flag track as well, just precautionary. There is no AFC up yet from Cruiser. So obviously two miners and gems here. Crew root as well. He's gonna spam on refineries right afterwards so he can commit to the zero. <laughs> Look at the micro from Cruiser. Individually moving the GIs there. And in it comes. To try to get all the GIs out of the way. That's the main issue there. But another pillbox being spammed out here. Cruiser absolutely burning through his cash. So is Root actually. So he is hoping on this refinery spam. And he's gonna micro his other miner onto the gem patch as well. Three in total. And the power drop along the top now. We'll probably go for that power to get Cruiser onto low power. Root ready on two war factories now with three miners on gems. That's equivalent to like six minus in gems, so that's okay. Oh, and Root immediately getting crushed there with the Grizzlies. And a bit of fodder as well. But Cruiser does not overcommit. That's what I love to see there. Control all the way through. And we're trying to get the power out of the way there. Two pill balls has been spanned out for one power drop. And on the back of that route, already it's been to that big gem patch, then the bottom patch as well. On two war factories, while Cruiser with an AFC, still on three miners on one gem patch. So he will need to spam out a couple of miners after this. He can't just commit to three miners straight away. There you go, that's a fourth. So Root's on 5 minus here, and Cruiser's on 4, and a double pair drop coming in for Cruiser around the back. This is what I think why Cruiser went for America, purely for that double pair drop. The only way to properly deal with a double pair drop is probably with a Death so or a bunch of Rhinos, but it's a little bit hard for him to do so, and immediately he's getting overwhelmed. He's gonna use a miner as fodder, and that's gonna pull in a lot of fire and gonna draw a lot of mining time actually i think cruiser just tried to push down as well while the power drop was being deployed there so two dimensional attacks no one dimension dimensional attacks today and out comes a lab from cruiser he is still on four miners though with the lab tech so we'll see how his eco will hold up after this but it is not looking good for him he is on 2k as so, well but once he start producing these mirages He'll either have to stop producing the Rocketeers or he'll have to get a lot like maybe spam out two more refineries here. He is on lab tech so he won't need to make anything else. Maybe another war factory but that's gonna burn it to go a lot more as Roots is gonna push in with a corny ball here. Does he have the micro to get rid of the Mirages first? Root, uh, Cruz is gonna pull in his power drop as well. And that was a very good micro out of Cruiser there. Cruiser needs to stop moving his Mirages there. That's a big mistake. Taking out a lot of his Mirages and Cruiser will lose a couple of miners here. 
That's absolutely a huge mistake from Cruiser going all the way along the top while Root was moving. That will reveal all the mirages and down he goes. 3 1 to Root. GG.